In this video, we will be going over the operator screen. Once the operator takes a phone call through open answer, the operator screen will automatically pop up for them. Once the operator answers the phone, they will have all the information that they need to handle the phone call. At the top left of the screen, you will see that the operator is listed as either the answering service or the receptionist. You have the company name and the company account number. Your call timer starts once the call has been answered and will run through the duration of the call and your local time shows the client's time zone based on the information that you set up under your basic information. Below that, you have the answer phrase that you set up in basic information for how the operator should answer the phone. Thank you for calling ABC, how may I help you? Also, the color that you chose for the queue. On the right-hand side, again, you have company information, whether you're listed as the answering service or the receptionist, the company address, the hours of operation, and the nature of their business. You also have any documents that you've uploaded. Below that, the next box is for your on-call. The on-call that's listed here is the current on-call for the date and time of which the call has been taken. By clicking the on-call's name, you will pull up their information at the bottom of the screen. You can click here in the click here to see all lists, and you will pull up both current, future, and expired lists, or you can select the all button, and this will show all of the on-calls and the dates and times that they will be active. On the left-hand side of your screen, you have your call types, Depending on which call type you select, you'll see that all of your information that you have the operator collecting can change and the instruction. For the requested staff call type, you have a little bit different instructions for how you handle the call. The operator will first collect the caller information based on the prompts that are selected. For any boxes that have the dark outline around them, this will be a drop down. They simply have to hit the down arrow and a drop down list will fill for them. By selecting that and hitting tab, you now have your section populated. For your street addresses, which is powered by Google, you'll be able to enter the beginning of the address and they can select when it will autofill your street address and your city, state, and zip code. You then move on to your instructions, transfer to requested staff. For the requested staff call type, you'll first have to pick your employee at the bottom of the screen Anytime you select one of the boxes to the right, you'll get a check mark next to it knowing that you've completed that step. You will then choose your employee and then choose the instruction. This one is to transfer, so you'll select the phone button and all transfers are done through open answer, which will be covered in a later video. If you have to come back to gather additional instructions, you will simply enter it here. And then you would mark it as delivered. Once you mark it as delivered, this will be removed from your operator screen and you will no longer be on this active call. At the bottom, you can add notes to an account by selecting add note. This will be a test note and you can select make it visible on the operator screen. You could choose whether it's to the left, the center, or the right, and the background color. You could choose to make the note visible at all times or select specific dates and times that this note will be active. Once you click save, your note will now pop up wherever you selected it to be. The message review screen button will take you to all messages that have been taken on this account for a review. You can add a call event to an account as well. This will be seen through the message review screen and will not be sent to the clients. Once you add your description, you select add and OK and your note has been added. You can also choose to mark delivered at the bottom or to send it directly to dispatch. To cancel out of a message, you would select your reason and then select cancel. You can also add miscellaneous notes to the operator screen by clicking add notes. These notes will be sent to the client once the message has been sent out. If the operator takes the call again while they're on the operator screen before the message has been delivered, a note will pop up for them. This note will let them know that another call is coming in, would you like to close the current window? This, of course, is not something that they should do if they have not delivered the message or sent the message out. So we'll select no here and finish sending our message out. If your operator accidentally cancels out of a message before it has been sent out, they can repopulate it through the welcome screen under recent calls. If the message has been delivered, they will not be able to repop. However, if it has not been delivered due to error, you simply select under the delivered section, repop operator screen, and the name and phone number fields have already been populated based on what they inputted before they accidentally canceled out.
That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.